These are Nazca boobies related to the blue-footed boobies, and boobies are in turn related to gannets, which we have in Britain. Brian Nelson showed in gannets that they always lay just one egg, but rather puzzlingly, if he added an extra egg, they were often able to rear the chick. The gannets are a bit of a mystery. Why, if they are capable of rearing two chicks, don't they? One of the virtues of true science is that we admit it when we don't understand something, and it stimulates us to do more work. Maybe the gannets evolved their one-egg habit during a time when food was less plentiful, and they haven't yet caught up with present-day conditions. Now, these Nazca boobies always lay two eggs, but the second chick always dies. And I suppose we should see the second chick from a Darwinian point of view as a kind of insurance against the possibility of the first one dying. The elder chick hatches about five days before the younger one. If the elder chick is still alive, it promptly kills the younger one. The parent makes no effort to restrain the murderer or assist the victim. But if the elder chick happens to be dead before the younger one arrives, the younger one serves as the insurance policy. Blue-footed boobies achieve a similar insurance in an interestingly different way. The elder sibling doesn't kill the younger one, but it gets first go at all the food the parents bring. The younger chick therefore starves to death, unless the elder one happens to be dead, or unless it's a bumper year and there's enough food for both. This is a more subtle kind of insurance policy, because the parents occasionally manage to rear two chicks. Bringing two chicks into the world so that one may die seems horribly cruel to us, but natural selection has no pity. The genes that implement this callous insurance policy get passed down through the generations in the bodies of the surviving chicks, usually the elder one, sometimes the younger one. But what does a creationist make of it? Is the creator a cruel monster? Or is he just incompetent? <laughs>